What's up guys, I device help here. Today in this video, Apple has just released iOS 8 Beta 5. And like always guys, I'm going to be giving you guys a quick rundown on some of the new features that Apple has added on this new version of iOS 8. First, let's go ahead and jump into settings, general, software updates. And if you jump into software updates, there you will be prompted to update to iOS 8 Beta 5. If you have installed iOS 8 Beta 4, if you haven't installed iOS 8 as of yet and you would like to try before it officially goes out to the public, I'll have a direct link down below on how to install iOS 8. That way you can try it out now and if you like it you can update for those jailbreakers out there now is the time to try it if you wish to do so because then you can just downgrade my downgrade video will also be in the description and then you can just go back to iOS 7 if you don't wish to use iOS 8 and still enjoy your jailbreaks. So let's go ahead and begin to take a look around what Apple has to offer on this new version of iOS 8. Alright guys, so first we're going to go ahead and take a look at Health, which is Apple's new health tracking application for iOS. According to some of the release notes for iOS 8 Beta 5 Health, now it's capable of exporting some of the data and also other privacy settings have been enhanced. You can read the release notes of iOS 8 Beta 5 for more information on health if that pertains to you. Now jumping over to the message application, also Apple has implemented implemented a new the continuity feature that allows iOS devices to communicate with other Mac computers and other iOS devices. It's a new feature coming for iOS 8, so it's called continuity and now asks you if you want to share your phone number as a contact source to send text messages and other information from your Mac or other iOS devices. So it connects your phone number, your actual phone number, to send text across iOS devices. In terms of UI changes, Apple did not bring a whole lot in iOS 8 beta 5. But as you can see here, the icon for iCloud backup and keychain have some minor changes. Now the icons are white with the blue cloud in the center. Little UI element changes here. Now as we take a look at the keyboard here in iOS 8 Beta 5, if you want to hold down here in the emoji icon, now you have a new toggle other than language and emoji. You have the predicted keyboard toggle on and off that you can go ahead and switch it right then and there from your keyboard. That's one of the UI element changes as well here in iOS 8 Beta 5. In the settings application, a minor change. Before in wallpapers, we had the brightness toggle. Now that you can find that toggle here in display and brightness, so it's been completely removed from the wallpaper section and move over to the display and brightness. All right, guys, so that about puts an end to this video. Apple didn't really improve that much from iOS 8 beta 4 to beta 5, but some of the changes in speed, I've noticed that has been sharpening on the operating system. I think Apple improved a whole lot of the underground bugs in the operating system itself. Some minor tweaks as you saw in this video, but I think iOS 8 is almost ready for prime time. Apple should be releasing one final Gold Master copy before releasing it to the public. I could be wrong. We'll just have to wait and see. Make sure you stay tuned here to the channel, of course. Leave a comment down below about what you think about iOS 8 and the new rumored iPhone 6 and everything that's happening in the Apple world at this point. It's been iDevice, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.